I'm Dr. Bill Fabian, a gastroenterologist at Mayo Clinic. In this video, we'll cover the basics of ulcerative colitis. What is it? Who gets it? The symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment. Whether you're looking for answers for yourself or someone you love, we're here to give you the best information available. Ulcerative colitis is an inflammatory bowel disease that causes chronic inflammation and ulcers and the superficial lining of the large intestine, also called the colon, and that includes the rectum. It's estimated that about a million Americans are living with ulcerative colitis, making it the most common form of inflammatory bowel disease. It can be painful and debilitating, occasionally leading to severe complications. It can also be emotionally stressful. And while there is no cure, once you've been diagnosed, treatment can help you get back to a much more normal and comfortable life. The exact cause of ulcerative colitis is unknown, but there are things that appear to trigger or aggravate it. It may involve an abnormal immune response against some microorganism in which your tissues are also attacked. Genetics might also play a role. You are at higher risk if a first-degree relative has it. There's also a correlation with age, although it can show up at any stage of life. Most people are diagnosed before the age of 30, and ethnicity is a risk factor. Whites have the highest risk, especially among people of Ashkenazi Jewish descent. While diet and stress don't cause ulcerative colitis, they are known to exacerbate symptoms. Most people have mild to moderate cases of ulcerative colitis. Although it can be more severe, you may also experience periods of remission when you have no issues at all. A person's symptoms depend on the severity of the case and the area of the colon that's involved. They usually develop over time, and they can include diarrhea, often with blood or pus, fever, fatigue, anemia, loss of appetite and weight loss, abdominal pain and cramping, rectal pain and bleeding, the need for a bowel movement, yet the inability to do so despite the urgency, and in children, delayed growth and development. Over time, ulcerative colitis can lead to other complications, such as severe dehydration, a perforated colon, bone loss, inflammation of your skin, joints, and eyes. It can also increase your risk for blood clots and colon cancer. These symptoms don't automatically mean that you have ulcerative colitis. But if you're experiencing anything that concerns you, it's a good idea to make an appointment with your doctor. The only way to definitively diagnose ulcerative colitis is with a biopsy, after taking a tissue sample through an endoscopic procedure. But first, less invasive things can be done to rule out other causes. First, your doctor will consider your medical history. They may want to run a variety of tests or procedures, and at some point, your general practitioner may refer you to a specialist called a gastroenterologist like myself. A blood test can check for anemia and check for signs of infection. A stool study can test for white blood cells and other specific proteins that point to ulcerative colitis, as well as rule out certain pathogens. A colonoscopy may be needed. This allows your doctor to view the entirety of the large intestine using an endoscope, a small camera mounted on a thin, flexible tube. They can take tissue samples for a biopsy at the same time. Or if your colon is extremely inflamed, they may do a flexible sigmoidoscopy, which only goes as far as the rectum and lower or sigmoid colon. If your symptoms are more severe, your doctor may want some imaging done. An abdominal x-ray can rule out serious complications, like a perforated colon. An MRI or CT scan can also be performed for a more detailed view of the bowel, as well as to reveal the extent of the inflammation. Although there is no cure for ulcerative colitis, there are widely effective treatments, usually involving either drug therapy or surgery. Your doctor can work with you to find things that alleviate your symptoms, and in some cases, even bring about long-term remission. Treatments may include anti-inflammatory drugs like corticosteroids and immune system suppressants. Certain targeted therapies directed against the immune system, called biologics, can help. Anti-diarrheals, pain relievers, antispasmodics, and iron supplements can help counter other symptoms and surgery may be required to remove the damaged tissue. In extreme cases, the whole colon may be removed, which sounds drastic, but this can sometimes be the best option for eliminating the pain and struggle of ulcerative colitis once and for all. Some of these therapies may have side effects themselves, so be sure to review the risks and benefits with your doctor. Ulcerative colitis can be physically and emotionally challenging, but there are things that can help. Although there's no firm evidence that any foods cause ulcerative colitis, certain things seem to aggravate flare-ups. 
So a food diary can help you identify personal triggers. Beyond that, limit dairy products, eat small meals, stay hydrated, try to avoid caffeine and alcohol and carbonation. If you're concerned about weight loss or if your diet has become too limited, talk to a registered dietitian. It's important to take care of your mental health too. Find ways to manage stress, like exercise, breathing and relaxation techniques, or biofeedback. Some symptoms like abdominal pain, gas, and diarrhea can cause anxiety and frustration. That can make it difficult to be out in public for any amount of time. It can feel limiting and isolating and lead to depression. So learn as much as you can about ulcerative colitis. Staying informed can help a lot in feeling like you're in control of your condition. Talk to a therapist, especially one familiar with inflammatory bowel disease. Your doctor should be able to give you some recommendations. And you might want to find a support group of people going through the same thing that you are. Ulcerative colitis is a complex disease, but having an expert medical care and developing a treatment strategy can make it more manageable and even help patients get back to the freedom of a normal life. Meanwhile, significant advances continue to be made in understanding and treating the disease and getting us closer to curing it or preventing it entirely. If you'd like to learn even more about ulcerative colitis, watch our other related videos or visit mayoclinic.org. We wish you well.